All right, so today we're going to talk about a case in Florida. Uh, Florida teen rejects plea deal in controversial, controversial same-sex case. Let me just read the first couple lines just for some context. 18-year-old uh, Caitlin Hunt, charged with a crime for having sex with a 14-year-old girl, rejected a deal Friday that would have required her to plead guilty to child abuse, according to Hunt's attorney. Hunt was charged with two felony counts of lewd and lascivious uh, battery after the parents of the 14-year-old went to authorities. Hunt's family says their relationship was consensual, but in Florida, a person under the age of 16 is not legally able to give consent. If Hunt is convicted, she could go to prison for 15 years, a reality that touched off a maelstrom uh, of controversy across the country this past week. The case became wildly known when Hunt's family began an online campaign in defense of their daughter. The plea deal from the Indian River County Prosecutor's Office would have required Hunt to plead guilty to felony child abuse, spend two years on community control, which usually involves strict supervision, followed by one year of probation. According to the plea deal document during the, her probation, Hunt would have agreed to stay away from the 14-year-old and to provide her probation officer with immediate access to her internet and telephone communication. So, uh, you have just the classic case of a consensual relationship where a third-party busybody called the Inquisition, I mean the state, uh, comes in and tells people that what they're doing is wrong, even though nobody in that relationship thinks anything uh, is happening that is wrong. Uh, I, I don't want to go on a political rant, but that really is the essence of the state. Uh, the essence of the state is interject itself into the lives of other people where no harm is occurring. Now, I've written about specifically age of consent in chapter 11, so I'm not going to repeat too much of it here, but my basic gist was that unless you're completely retarded, uh, consensuality ought to be the cornerstone of any law, including sex, or including uh, anything about sexual matters, or any matters. It should be about whether the two individuals uh, are consenting to what they're doing. Uh, a related point I made in Chapter 11 was that if in this case the 14-year-old was harmed, and let's say it was a rape or something, then you don't need age of consent because you'll just charge the other person with rape. But the whole point is that they can't find anything that's not consensual like rape, which is why they have to use a law like this to try to convict uh, this 18-year-old. And as I said, uh, you know, unless you're retarded, that's, I think, a pretty good place to start. The problem is that the people who are in charge, uh, the people who run the state, the people who run the government are retarded. Uh, so, for example, if you click through and, and you check out um, and you check the thread, I linked to a video with John Stossel, uh, who talked about a very similar case, that one involving a heterosexual couple. And Stossel interviews a, a lawmaker who retorts to the idea that it's okay to imprison people for consensual activities because it's the law, you know, fucking moron, right? And again, you really should not underestimate the malevolence and sadism of those in power. Uh, they will, you know, they will, they care more about a piece of paper that they've, that they've signed than two people, okay? Uh, they're hungry for power. They're hungry for dominating other people. Uh, and, and, you know, there's such thing as, as prosecutorial uh, discretion, so the, they don't have to file uh, anything. If the prosecutor says, well, yeah, this is consensual, who cares, this is a waste of time, they're not going to file it. But the very fact that they did file it shows that they are just uh, power hungry and want to, uh, you know, dominate an 18-year-old girl. You know, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, since this is an issue that's going to come up with Guerrero, and as I've written in Chapter 11, uh, or that's why I wrote Chapter 11, is because it's going to come up, my, my word uh, or my advice is, you know, if you are under 18, if anybody in the relationship is under 18, including both of you, because that could still be a, a problem, uh, you know, be sure to look up the law, be sure to look at, uh, research it a little bit. Uh, look up the actual law and try to understand what it says. Maybe even consult a lawyer or somebody who knows the law. Uh, you know, that is, of course, a rather unromantic sort of thing to do, to be consulting the law books uh, uh, before uh, having sex. But I, I think that is 
I mean, that's just what you have to do. Uh, you see, after 9-11, we were invaded by the Taliban, and they took over. So we have these laws that we have to adhere to while we're under Taliban occupation. So uh, it would be uh, well worth it for people to check it out. So that's that.